This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showing how to animate text using Apple Keynote. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Let me show you how to create a simple text animation. When you go up to the file menu inside Keynote and you select New, the theme chooser appears. Now, in point of fact, whenever you're creating something with Keynote, you're actually not working with the background at all. So it doesn't make any difference which of these templates you choose. I prefer to have to deal with the least amount of changes. So I'll select Classic White. Just double click it and it opens up a very simple template. But I kind of like the look of that text. So let's, let's build something simple. Let's just double click in here and type the power of and then I'm going to do a soft carriage return. Hold the shift key down, type return, animated text. Text in Keynote is stored inside boxes. So I don't want this box. I'm going to click inside the box, hit the delete key, click inside this box, hit the delete key. I just want to work with the power of animated text. Except uh, let's play with this a little bit. Let's just select the top line by dragging across it. Go to the format menu up here. See where it says format? Click the word text and let's not make it bold. So we're going to uncheck bold and give ourselves more of a, of a difference in how the text looks. Now we're going to get more into text in just a minute. I want to change the size of this to 120, to 100 point. I want to change the document size. Click here to document. I want to change the size from widescreen to a custom size. I want it to be 1920. No, I want it to be 1280 by 720. Even after I've added text, I can change the size of the document. And the other thing is these bounding boxes constrain the size of the text. If the text is supposed to be bigger than the box, the box does not expand. The text is not shown at its full size. So sometimes you'll want to grab the bounding box, any of these white boxes, for instance, and adjust it so you can see the full size of the text. Nothing is selected. When I click the Animate menu, I'm going to animate the transition into that slide. That's not what I want. Instead, I want to select the bounding box or select the text, either one. The box needs to be selected. And now when you add an effect, you're adding an effect to the text itself. And all text is animated through the Animate button up here. Let's add an effect. There's lots and lots of different effects that we could add, but let's pick something really obvious. Let's look for Orbital and preview it. Oh yeah. That, that's definitely something I would not want to create inside any NLE. My life is too short. So I'm going to click anywhere except on the word preview, and that assigns that effect to the text. But a one second duration is too fast. Let's slow that down to three seconds just because we can. And because text is animated based upon paragraph or the box itself or bullets, I'm going to leave the delivery at all at once. And we're done. The last step is to export the text. So I'm going to go up to the file menu, go down to export. I'm going to export a movie. And you'll notice here that it's all set to export at 720p. Except it'll never work if you say 720p or 1080p. In all cases, when you want to work with animated text, you select custom. Here you can determine how many of the slides we're going to export. I'm going to, I've only created one, so I'm going to export all of them. We'll show what happens when you change these numbers in a bit. But here's the secret. Secret number one. By default, all movies exported out of Keynote are H.264, which does not support transparency. You must, repeat, must change the compression type to ProRes 4x4. And notice we're going to export with a transparent background. I click Next. It says, what are we going to call it? I'm going to call it Animated Movie. Store it to the desktop. Click Export. And in a fraction of a second, really soon, it's done. All right, now it gets really exciting. Watch this. I'm going to switch over just to Final Cut. I'll go up to the Media Project and import the movie from the desktop. There it is. It's my animated movie right there. 
and I click Import Selected, and let's go to the project that has the add that animated movie right here on top. Oh, but wait a minute, it isn't it isn't keying. I have a white background. If I highlight this and go take a look at the alpha channel, the whole thing is solid. We have a problem. What could we have failed to do? Well, I'm glad you asked that question because this is the second key problem that we have to solve. How do we get that to actually be transparent? Let me show you. When we go back to Keynote, the piece that is the hardest to remember and the least obvious is you select the slide, not any box, go to the Format menu, go down to Edit Slide Layout, and see where it says Current Fill? You must set Current Fill to No Fill. And the way you do that, let me just do this again, is you go up to the Format menu, go down to Edit Slide Layout, and set Current Fill to No Fill, and then click Done. Now when we export that movie, all the settings remain the same, click Next, we'll call this Animated Movie V2. It exports, we'll hide this, switch to Final Cut, which is the same as switching to Premiere. I'll get to Premiere in just a second. We're going to Animated Movie V2, and we'll grab that movie, drag it on top here of just some underwater footage, and look at this. Ta-da! Animated. Is that cool or what? So the key steps to creating animated text inside Keynote is to create a Keynote project that matches the project frame size. That way you know everything is going to line up. Then you create and animate the text. Then you change the slide background to No Fill. Finally, export using a custom frame size with the ProRes 4x4 codec. Import that QuickTime movie into the NLE of your choice. Key, edit, and trim as you would any other text clip. And the key to remember is that you have to change each individual slide background. It isn't a universal setting. And you have to export with ProRes 4x4. Now, when you are animating, you can animate text by the entire slide, or by paragraph, or by bullet. But you can't animate by character, or word, or line. This is one of the reasons why Keynote lives between Final Cut and Premiere and Motion and After Effects. It doesn't do as much as Motion or After Effects, but what it does do, it does a whole lot faster without any rendering with instant preview, so it's much easier to use than Motion or After Effects and much more capable than Premiere or Final Cut. This was an excerpt of a recent power-up webinar called Animate Text Using Apple Keynote. For the complete version of this training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 341. And, by the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software, and we update it multiple times each month. For more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.